good, bad, I messed up, I slipped up, I gotta start all from square one again, I gotta start over, good, it's bad food, good food, alright, I'm sure you've said all of those before, all of those. I gotta start over. I gotta start back at square one. I gotta, you know, good food versus bad. That's bad for me. This is good for me. You got, okay. <laughs> We're gonna talk about language. All right, guilt, trip, center, feeling guilty comes a lot from you. My guilt, if I feel it, comes a lot from me. So going back to that, where all of our thoughts and how we feel about food comes from, you know, from all of our, in, everything that's impressing upon us. But then we have a choice, right? We get a stimulus, the stimulus comes in, we have a choice to either accept it or let it go. And some things, unfortunately, we've, we've allowed to, ex, we've allowed ourselves to ex, accept as our own language. And sometimes we are the worst offenders at hurting ourselves. And I see it all the time in the gym. I constantly am teaching classes, and there's so many times where I hear, I hear people say, I can't, I can't, I can't eat greens every day, Leanne, I can't do that. I'm going to tell you this right now, I came up with this, I don't know, it might be a quote from somebody else, but I think I came up with it, I'm just sure, I don't really care who gets credit. Saying I can't creates a character that won't. Saying I can't creates character that won't. Saying a lot of different things will create a character that feels guilty all the time. Saying bad food versus good food will create a character that believes that food is equivalent to being good or bad. Saying food is good or bad will unfortunately hurt who you are as a human being. You don't like this video so much, huh? Because I'm pretty serious in this one. People think I'm crazy. People make fun of me and people laugh at me because I'm constantly trying to correct my language. Because in our society today, a lot of language is just accepted. It doesn't make any sort of sense, but we accept it and we allow it to be truth. And unfortunately, that's why so many people are confused. That's why so many people are angry because there's so much miscommunication because what we actually mean is not coming across as truth. I can't get my actual intention across to you because we've allowed our culture to scramble our words and make us feel a way that's not meant to be that way. Now I'm going to tell you how to change this when it comes to food. Instead of saying good or bad food, I've said it a few times, food is fuel for the body. So is this nutritional? Is it non-nutritional? Is it nutritionally dense? Is it nutritionally lacking? It's a lot better to say. You know, if I was going to McDonald's, I would be getting a nutritionally lacking meal. So I would know that I'm using my allowance of calories, I'm using my portions, and I know my, my digestive system is going to use a lot of energy to, to use this and hopefully get a surplus of energy from digesting it. But I know because it's nutritionally lacking, I'm going to be in the negative at the end of the day, nutritionally and energy wise. I'm not going to feel so great because my body had to do so much work to digest something it didn't know how to digest because it wasn't real food and it was nutritionally lacking. I'm going to end up in the negative energy wise, but I want to feel really energetic. So should I make this decision or not? A lot different than just saying that's bad food. And creating a negative with that. Because here's the truth. You can have treat meals all you want. If you build up a rock star digestive system, it can handle a good beating. But the body can only handle so much beatings. Time in and time out, time in and time out, time in and time out. Alright? So, you don't have to use my terminology for it. But you got to change it. If you have good or bad. If you think you have to start back at square one. I'm going to tell you right now. I know you don't. No, you don't, because every single program that you've ever done was for something. 
It taught you something about yourself. And I bet you, if you don't consciously know what it is now, that's okay. Because you can go back and say, hey, you know what? During that program, I learned this about myself. I learned, I learned that I'm capable of doing this. I'm capable of it. I'm capable of losing five pounds. I'm capable of sticking to it. I learned that an injury will make me not be able to exercise anymore. And when I'm not exercising, I feel like I don't want to eat right either because it's, I'm a full package kind of girl. So what do I need to do next time to make sure I don't get injured? Go back and all the times that you believe that you failed or believe that you needed to start over back at square one, I, I am challenging you right now to go ahead and look at all those instances and find something that you learned about yourself and learned about an experience. Now, to me, that doesn't sound like you're starting back at square one. It sounds like you're coming back a lot wiser this time around. You learned a ton about yourself, about how your body works, about what your body was trying to say to you during that time period. And you can go ahead and use all of that now. That's a lot of wisdom. You can't buy wisdom. You can't. You cannot buy wisdom. But you can create it. Yeah, man. <laughs> All right. So I'll get a little bit more fun now. Uh, I know it was a little serious, but your language, you know, if you have a negative relationship to something, go ahead and make it sound super silly. Just make it sound super silly. Make it sound ridiculous. Close your nose. Make it sound like it's ridiculous. If you have some sort of belief about yourself, for instance, like, I can't do this. I've tried so many times before. <laughs> and see if you can get through without laughing. All right. Get rid of that negative belief. Make it sound absolutely ridiculous and start growing new beliefs with this new root system. Prove to yourself. Commit to this. Decide. Cut off all your old thoughts. Decide what you actually want to take in and consume in the brain and in food-wise. This is so much bigger than food if you haven't realized already. It's about up here, guys. It's all about up here. And I really hope this is helping you out. Comment below, email me, text me, do whatever you need to do. Keep in communication with me. You are not a bother. I'm super stoked to hear from you. All right?